So current batch is 9 to 10 a.m. batch. Today is the second demo. I have six batches in a day, but current batch is 9 to 10 a.m. My one hour equal to for you two to three hours minimum practice time. So if you are looking for fast track, first ensure how much time it is taking for your practice. Listening is different, practice is different. For me, two hours equal to for you. Eight hours time for practice. With experience, I take two hours, which is nothing but eight hours of practice. Next. This is my mobile number. You can call me in these times to get suggestions, guidance, or in case you have any concerns. Anything you want to discuss, this is the time. I will place the chart room. Uh, please do not write anything. Simply listen to it. We are in the era of artificial intelligence. Everything I will explain graphically, try to understand. And if you are an non-IT person, I use technical words, so do not feel panic. Since we are entering into IT component and technical component, definitely you need to come across technical words. Maybe first one, two days you will feel panic, but later on it's normal only. For IT people, you will get the beauty of the subject today. And don't consider this one like a demo and consider like a meaningful session and which is a fruitful session for your quick start. And regular classes from tomorrow at 9 a.m. And last class, who are all attended, we shared a video. So guys, uh, this was a folder created for you last class. In this folder, the first demo document I placed. And this is a checklist. I believe you all received the first demo level. Yesterday's video, yesterday's document, 
everything I place. Even today also you will receive the same thing. So my course object, I already told you. You should be suitable for any kind of project working in the real time. And you should face the interviews easily. And PL300 certification exam, you should clear properly. This is my objective. And if you need any guidance regarding how to be a certification PL300, I will provide you. Discuss with me, I will give you tips, techniques, and everything. And the first demo is done. First 20 minutes, I covered about institution subject, what we are going to cover, and what we provide. Next 35 to 40 minutes, last class I covered, data to fabric understanding, which is a very important session. And even added one more point, without understanding this, don't start up or be classes. The basic hierarchy. And if you feel like it's a reporting tool, that's it, you will get that much knowledge only. And if you understand this, you, you will have a nice startup. And today is the second demo. Uh, hey, good morning, this is Anil. Yes, Anil. Uh, if you don't mind, can we just uh, brief in uh, one or two minutes uh, mix of fabrics and then you can start today's demo? So, uh, it, yeah, I'll give you a recap of yesterday's one. There I will cover it. In case you need more, let me know. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, today is the second demo and regular classes from tomorrow, 9 to 10 sharp. Plus or minus 5 minutes, but 9 to 10 a.m. sharp. Because of demo, I started a little late and will, I will close a little late. But regular classes, sharp times. And today's is done. First recap, first demo recap for 10 minutes. And next, practical demo. This practical you're supposed to do today at your home. After doing the practical, then it's startup user. So the first demo recap I'm giving for 10 minutes. And for a full detailed video, just go to this drive and watch it with content. Not possible to give complete information today. And yesterday I explained about what I cover, how long I cover. So my name is Vinay and this is my contact number. I'm working as a BA lead consultant and the class duration 50 to 60 hours. Daily one hour is a class duration, Monday to Friday classes and Saturdays, monthly two Saturdays you are having sessions and the two Saturdays you will be having a live practical and you guys will do along with me. And we provide daily live class videos for one and a half year and two near real time projects multiple case studies. This is very important. We are good in the market with case studies and projects. More and more case studies, more and more projects will do it. A solid theory and practical material also will provide you from the institution side for your good knowledge. And no great prerequisites. Any graduate can start up without any IT knowledge. But if you have Excel knowledge or SQL knowledge, add advantage to you. Next, and GUIR coding, full support to graphical user interface and low code available. And the current training from basics to advanced level, basics to advanced. And the two months I'm going to cover this part. This is related to environment, which environment you are kind of joining and projects 
Presidential Run. So in the projects level, you find data warehousing, data warehousing operations, data modeling operations, as well process in GitHub. This understanding I will give you. And two near real time projects I will give you for end to end, end understanding and multiple case studies. Three to four hours SQL sessions I will conduct, but these are not sufficient for interview and working. And these are just to connect and bring the data and to do some kind of important operations in Power BI. My recommendation, learn SQL completely wherever you want to learn, even if you do offer. And prioritize nine topics. SQL level nine topics available, those you prioritize. And these topics are uh, recommended to bring the data into Power BI. This is your database. And you want to bring data into Power BI. SQL language is required. Or uh, you want to verify database level, how many rows available? Power BI level, how many rows available? You want to verify, then also report. Okay, and tabular cube classes I will take for two hours. And I will conduct resume preparation sessions, a few questions mark interviews without fail. Next, Power BI subsidy. Power BI having cloud, Power BI having on premises. So, both subjects I will cover. Power apps and Power Automate understanding also I will provide. So, this is what I will provide in the next two months. That to in a systematic order. Like this. Last class I already shared with you the content list. All topics. First two demos. Two hours. Next one hour. Next one hour. Like this, hour wise content. But we are going to do case studies at the beginning only. So more understanding will get in Power BI while working on case studies. And once the case study is completed, we will go to subject to learn. One by one component, I will explain. Two projects, resume preparation, everything, systematic art. This is high level. Now coming to Power BI cloud level, what I'm going to cover. If it is completed, I will write yes. Extract data, extraction data level, what I'm going to cover. Transformation level, what I'm going to cover, one by one. So this is a content with a number of hours, very detailed content. Next, institution side will provide theory, practical material, as I told you. Daily live class videos will provide you. And the training is fully practical under training. Resume preparation sessions also conducted. And you'll be having very good interaction with you. WhatsApp group also created for technical questions, concerns, job updates, and many purposes. The FAQ is also discussed. So whatever you require, like videos, materials, everything, yes. WhatsApp group also. I'm not showing today, but uh, in the WhatsApp level, that if it is open, I will try. Nothing open. WhatsApp level we will. we will provide wonderful support. So the different WhatsApp actually. This is different WhatsApp.
So 10 o'clock batch recently completed. And their feedback also you can see. Thank you, sir, for your excellent driving. We will refer to my friends. Thank you so much, sir. Exceptional subject to knowledge. Thank you so much for your invaluable training contributions. Live feedback from the people. And you want to check how many members are there in the batch? 10 o'clock. So online 18 members. Online only 18 members. And the batch is having offline as well. These are different words of actually. Only student questions. So we'll provide resumes, information, everything. And once the session is completed, we will place messages like this video place for so and so, video place for so and so. Right, this is okay, sufficient. Just so you understand. Once the course completed, and before that, so this was a previous nine o'clock batch. I conducted 66 sessions for them. Every day video available with project one, project two, projects also with documents. Complex tasks for interview and many things. So no need to worry about classes, subject to depth, different level give you. Only one thing, you need to have enough patience to attend all the sessions and get more knowledge. See case studies. The beginning is only case studies, case study two, case study one. So demo, first demo, second demo, third uh, demo overview, desktop, case study one, case study two. You will do multiple case studies at the beginning to get more understanding. This is my way of approach. So uh, before 20 days, our first 20 days sufficient to understand complete end to end power BI. Later I will go to subject to learn. So who are looking for fast track, first 20 days are sufficient for you. As the entry and approaches I'm covering, case studies I'm covering in the first 20 days with small project. And rest on subject only. One by one point, I will explain every topic. Case study level, overall subject I will cover. The course is suitable if you want to try as a Power BI developer with less than five years. And majorly 90% opportunities in the companies. Power BI plus SQL, this is one highly suitable. In case you are trying as a support resource, suitable. Are you trying as an admin resource, suitable. Combinations, anyway, you can go if you're having knowledge on this. Senior roles you're trying more than five years. These are all available. Any question you guys want to ask before I start up the fresh part today? Okay. After this, last class I give an understanding about this. How many types of data available in the market? Three types. How many types of format available in the market? File and database, two formats. How many types of storage available in the market? on-premises storage and cloud storage. So three types of data, two formats, two storages. And we use that in an IT application level. There are two major types. One is for running the business. One is for analyzing the business. And you guys set a path for analyzing the business. 
and those are called BA applications. In the business intelligence application level, you will work on data, you will generate report or dashboard. So you, you all guys work on data, maybe any type, any storage, anyway, and generate a report or dashboard. And the difference between report and dashboard also explained. So report level, individual operation we will show, detailed data we will show. Dashboard level, high level up, high level presentation will show, high level data presentation, and set of individual operations data will show. You want to convert transactional data, business data into this is business data, general public data into management data, that is analytical data or business intelligence data. We need this process. First one ETL process, getting the data, transforming in loading. Second one, huge storage. Third one, taking required data and create aggregate analytics. Fourth one, presentation of data. Four layers. First one, data processing, data storage. Second one, required data taking and this. I explained everything clearly in the last class. So any company, they want to construct a BA project compulsory, they use multiple layers, ETL, warehouse, semantic reporting. So you may feel panic with the terms, don't worry. Daily use the same. Daily practice the same in the regular class, you feel bored. So these are four layers compulsory we need to implement to construct a proper report. And 90s, 90s to till 2000, if any company want to have this approach, even 2005 also, they need to have one tool here, either of the tool, either of the storage, either of the tool, either of the tool. But no company has given and then process except Microsoft. Microsoft proudly given Microsoft BA, MSBA 2005. MSBA in 2005. It is a suit with multiple tools. There's a tool one in this area, tool two in this area, tool three in this area, multiple tools. Tool one, tool two, tool. And Microsoft is a leader because of MSBA, but only drawback on premises, mostly on premises operations, no cloud, no mobile friendly, and many operations not possible. So Microsoft decided to construct one more component, which is having more features than MSBA that is powering BA or add power to existing BA that is Power BA. Power BA level single application only available with multiple concepts. Concept one for here, concept two for here, Concept three here. Power BI and map. So three concepts. So power BI level single application with multiple concepts. That's what I explained last class. Why power BI when MSB available? These are all the differences I explained first. And then I concluded adding more features to existing BI. And some people say power BI is a low code application. Less code, cloud and on premises supported, self service application because NPN we do in the Power BI and generate a report or dashboard. So these are all the points that support the strength of Power BI cloud, on premises, self service, reported dashboard generation. And as this low code proved very well in the market, continued the leadership. Microsoft decided to construct multiple low code components and release a platform. That is Power Platform. In this area, Power BI is the first component, low code with reports, and remaining Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Power Pages. But no company showing combination usage 
So Microsoft decided to release current market suitable artificial intelligence based solution fabric. So this hierarchy you need to understand. 2013, July Power BA released. Till 2019, Power BA alone, but 19, Power BA joined with Power Platform. But now it is part of Fabric. Then what is Fabric? An artificial intelligence solution traced. An artificial intelligence suit with multiple tools suitable for data engineering, data presentation, data analysis, and data science operations. So it is an artificial intelligence suit, 2023, July, you will got it. The Power BA comes under reporting data presentation. Data factory for data engineering. Synapse, data analysis, as well as data science. Data activator for data governance and monitoring. So Fabric is an artificial intelligence solution where four components are available to do this operation. Now Power BA is part of Fabric. So wherever whatever you read, you will find the word fabric power BA, fabric power BA, do not feel panic. Let me show you, even the support also, Microsoft support. If you go for Power BA cloud support, app.powerbi.com, it's a Power BA cloud service. I'll click here, help and support. They click on it, they clearly mention. Microsoft Fabric support, check service status. These components, combination is Fabric. Now, support for Power BA is part of Fabric support. It is highlighted on. So, set of components Power BA, Data Factory, Data Activator, Synapse, four components. See Power BI, all the locations running good and data factory. That is Synapse dashboard. So this is a part last class I covered and today I showed this picture. Now, anyone wants to ask any question? Thank you. I'm into today's fresh part. I will show Power BI components first. So I will explain first. And then we'll work on this company. Power BA companies. What exactly Power BA does? Single line takes data, any data, and produces. Report after implementing business intelligence operations. That's it. This is single line definition and simple definition. Takes data and generates. Then why these many components? You will come to me. Your company decided you want to maintain in somebody else storage. That is called cloud. your reports yeah. stored and managed in other company servers. Okay. And this is okay. called current location Hyderabad. Here, Microsoft service. In the situation, these are first component required. Power BI desktop. This uses these concepts: concept one, concept two, concept three, concept four, and developer report. Later, 
the developer report you will place in the cloud level for storing and managing and customers will access to this cloud only. This is only for the development and in the other company servers will place it for storing and managing. 95 percentage we follow this approach but five percentage we follow this approach on premises if you want to keep reports and manage reports in your company servers then we need desktop only but reports are not desktop a special desktop special see the reports server it uses the same concepts, concept one, concept two, concept three, concept four. And we'll install this, we will install. We will install and operate. And customers will come to this and operate. What about here, sir? No installation. No installation, comma, with an echo, we connect and operate. Because somebody else storage. So we need an account to connect and operate, but here we'll install an operate. So this is the third component for on-premises report creation. Fourth component, on-premises storage. Any questions in these four components? There are five percent people using this. Next sixth component, I'm sorry, fifth component, report builder. And this is a special component designed for page-generated reporting. So what is page-generated reporting? I'll tell you in tomorrow's session. And this is sixth component and user for own visuals creation. If you want to create your own visual, we go to this concept. This is seventh point, user for placing our BA reports in other areas. like Facebook, Twitter, etc. areas. Last one, gateway. So these are the eight components available. I will brief and conclude here. Eight components. Come up, power be a desktop. Four concepts. This is about Power BI, Power BI components. Total eight. But desktop having four concepts. These are the concepts. Now, the report development I will show you today's session and these concepts. This is your data, daily family expenses data. Day to day, how much money you spend for which reason you spend, which area you spend, and which location you travel. Clearly available, daily spending. Family data. It's a transactional data. And I want to generate a report like this, from this 19 and 20 and day two months. This I want to analyze. If I select 19, 19, what's the total money spending, average money spending, maximum money spending, minimum money spending. If we select a month, respect to year and month information. And here is the place top spending. Here is the place locations. And in this area, you will go for uh, some composition. So based on the year and month selection, these values should be displayed, these areas to be analyzed. Location should be displayed. How is it possible? So this data I want to convert like this. Not so simple. We need a BA tool business intelligence tool to do it. That is powered by desktop. And we need a process to implement. This is a process, business intelligence process, fixed process, wherever you go. So this tool will get the data. This tool will transform it. If the data in proper shape, no worries. If the data not in proper shape, we'll shape it. If multiple tables are available, definitely it will establish relationship. This is shaping data shape and this is data relationships multiple tables available and here security only required people will see 
and this is visualization adding visibles for better insights better analysis so this is a process we will implement in this desktop and generate this since the desktop is doing end to end process we call it as self service bi component what do we call it self service bi component so this is my current input this is the output i want to generate by using this tool by implementing this process any questions Now, where is the data? So this is my data. Uh, yeah, one second. Uh, in the last class, uh, we said that uh, so the data can be in three formats: structured, semi-structured, and unstructured. So now we are taking structured data, correct? No, uh, that yeah. in the form perfect, of perfect. rows and columns. Really good. Yes, perfect. It is okay. easy for you. I'll give you the structured data today, and you will understand also. Don't worry. See this. So this is my daily expenses Excel sheet. For your demo operations, I'm giving this, but in the regular class, we discuss multiple sources. Unstructured data, semi-structured data, structured data, multiple files. So these are all we'll work in the regular class. For demo purpose, I'm taking only Excel file. Even you can practice this Excel file, I'll be sharing with you. So this is your input. Next. Then where is the desktop file? So guys, if you want to install Power BI desktop, this is a process. So what is desktop? Desktop is a graphical operations area. Everyone will see if you see this. So Windows desktop, Tableau desktop, Power BI desktop, there are different desktops available. And Power BI desktop is for Power BI graphical operations area. Just graphical operations. And requirements are very minimal if you want to download this. Windows 8 or above required, but 10 or above is good. A minimum 2 GB RAM is required and minimum 1.5 gigahertz is required. Process speed. These are the minimal requirement and detailed requirement in today's session. Uh, so tomorrow's session I'll explain. And you want to download, Google it and go for advanced download. Advanced download level, no Power BI account required. Power BI having accounts like Pro, Premium, Capacity, but no account is required. Directly you can download it. And second way, Microsoft Store download, compulsory account required. Power BI service download, compulsory account is required. So these are the minimal requirements. And these are the three ways. In the real time, the third way only recommended. For classroom level, I cannot show you this without account. So I will go for advanced download. So how to download the software and install, I will explain now, focus. Google it. Mention here, our way desktop download. Click on download, first option. Read what exactly Power BI Disturb does. 
And if you have time, see the details, see the system requirements, installation instructions, if you have time. Or else, simply click download. Choose the download you want. Desktop, 64 bit. So this is for 32 bit machine software. And this is for 64 bit machine software. So which one required? Just go to sysinfo. Type in your search, sysinfo, system information. It will show you what type of machine you're working on, the 64-bit machine. So go to 64-bit and download. Once it is downloaded, you will see like this. It's good. We don't have here. Otherwise, we can click down the no issues. No. The session will continue till nine ten fifty. Kindly stay tuned. You will get one example, don't worry. Almost downloaded. Okay, no problem. So this is the way it will download. I got it. Let's go here. Next, next finish. If it is done, then you will find on your desktop like this. Or be desktop. This is software. Click on this. So this page is recently removed. So this is a main window. Everyone look at this. Self-service BI window. So here you will extract the data. You will transform the data. And here you will model the data, secure the data, visualize the data. All operations here you can perform. 
I'll write it here. Data extraction, transformation, modeling, secure, visualize. All these operations will perform finally VA data using it. And this is an area where you will bring the data. First area. And this is the area where you transform it. And if you want a modeling, this is the area the modeling we do it. And this is security area, fourth one. And this is visualization area, fifth one. This car in the place at top of it. Five areas. It's a fixed process. Any report you want to create, one, two, three, four, five, in the same order will go. So this is one. This is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. Without this, it's not possible. So Power BI desktop is used to implement these five operations and generate a report. So what about other options? And this is quick saving. And this is the title of the report. Undo and redo. And this is the account. This is minimizing the uh, minimizing the window, maximizing the window, closing the window. And these are called menu tabs. And right now, home is underlined, and this is called home ribbon. And these are three views. Report view, data view, model view. This is data view. And this is a model view. Relationships between tables. And in the down, you are able to see desktop. This is for a web report, web level suitable report. And this is for a mobile suitable report. And here the first page, and if you click plus one more page, multiple pages in the report. And this is filter pane with filter options. And this is a visualization pane. Visual options. Data pane. This can also be called data set pane. Queries and set queries. Tables, columns, etc. Don't feel panic. I will explain for one hour this part. And daily use it so you feel very comfortable after one or two days. First day, if you look at like, look at this, you feel confused, but daily use the same one. Okay. Now, we have data, so first we need to bring it. And then if required, we'll go for transformation. If relationship required, then we go to this. Security required, we go to this. And the fifth visualization area, this is the area. This is this one also called as report canvas. I'll write here, and what do you call it? Report canvas, this area. Report design area. Now, but first step we need to implement in five steps. Get data. Data you need to fetch. Click get data. Excel workbook, select Excel workbook. Where is it? I'll go to this. This is a family expenses Excel data. Click open, browse to Excel. 
I click get data. I'm getting the data. And this is having a sheet. I'll set the sheet. Look at this. The sheet data is this. Click load. Remember, and the download is available, load it. Select load. Then it will load. See, first step successfully completed, and you are able to see the information in the data area. Now you need to see the data. If you want to see that, just go to this. Click on the data. Data view. So always to see the data, we go to this. But if you look at this, the data is not in proper shape. What is in proper shape? No column by column data. So what do we need to do? First one, delete this record. This is the first step. And take this as a heading, second step. The two steps compulsory, delete this and take this as second step. Third one, this column four having area location. You cannot analyze happily. You split the data based on the two items. First step, delete it. Second step, take this as heading. Third step, split the data based on two items. These three steps you need to implement. Shall we see? But where do you do that? If you want any data changes, go to second area. So report view, this is a report view. Transform data. So one completed, now two. Click on this transform data. In this situation, it will open a separate window. Guys, this is a window system open. Transformation window. What are the data changes you want to do to it? And then go to home menu, click on this. Close means no changes, close. Apply means apply changes, close and apply. Apply changes and close. First, I will do the transformations. Nice, in this corner, if you go to this corner, this corner. Whatever I want to do, having in this corner now. So click on this. Now, how do we remember? Once you practice properly, then you will remember all these options. No need to worry. Click on this corner. Remove top row because first row we need to remove. This record we need to remove, and this we need to take as a column heading. So click on this. Remove top row. So num top rows remove number of rows remove one. Click OK. First row remove. Then take this one as a header. The next one. So click on this. Use first row as header. So I completed this. First step. I am going to second step this. Use first row as header. Use first row as header. Two operations completed. Next third one. I want to split this into multiple columns. So go to this column, right click, split column by delimiter. Very simple, right click, split column by delimiter. So mention here delimited two items. Split custom two items. I just mentioned two items. This is the location. This is area and location. 
to change the title here area location two columns double click on it change it double click on it change it. so these are the steps i applied any step you want to cancel you can go to right hand side cancel the last one cancel the last one splitting also i cancel in case you want to implement again right click split column by the limiter mention here two iphones click ok now you double click area go to this double click location successful now once the change is completed go to home as i said go to this close and apply since change is completed close and apply no save here save is nothing but close and apply so it will apply the changes and then close. Apply the changes and then close. Now go to this table view. If you see this, it's looking proper. Date, amount, reason, area, location. So done, guys. So what's the first step we did? get data second step transform data but to see the data i move to this view and see the data third one you require modeling click on this only one table available no model next fourth one security it's not our scope Fifth one, report canvas. So in today's session, I'm explaining getting the data, transforming the data, and reporting the data. These three, not the other. Now I will go to report. Fifth one. I'll clear everything so that it will be easy for you. So this is a report canvas. Here we need to visualize it. So this is a place of visuals available. And if you want other visuals from the Microsoft custom visuals, this is the area. Custom visuals, other than Microsoft visuals, you'll find it. These are not sufficient, more required, go to this. First, today I will explain about five visuals. This is the first visual, second visual, third visual, fourth visible, fifth visible. These five visuals, how do we use, I will explain. High level, not low level. Low level, we'll see in the regular class. For any visible, there are two sections. And this is field section, where you take data. This is format section, where you apply colors, fonts, etc. Two sections. Sir, how do I practice? Don't worry, guys. I'll give you material for your practice. This is a material you will receive today after the session. I will provide you material, kindly look into the material. It's not visible here. Right. That material very clear steps available. Now, first one, this is a visible for slicing the data. Filtering. Click on this. This visual I'm placing here. I want ear on this. This is for filtering. And go to higher update. Year hierarchy, year. So on this slicer, this year I'm taking here. It looks like this, field area. But if you want to format, you go to this. Some settings, slicer setting, this setting. Between it is showing, I want list. List to format, show. 
or you want tile button format show you want drop down drop down format show i'll go to list style so the slicer visible of list so people will sell from the list now header this is header these are values now go to the header bold increase the header and mention a color now values these are called values bold and increase the values and take a color like this and for complete visual i want a border go to general fx visual border all. success i took a border for this i want to copy paste don't worry about the navigations i will give you clear navigations on the material even by following the video you can do it control c control v Control C, Control B, but I want month. Take month here. Drag and drop and month in the month here. Field saving. So for every visual, first one fields, data. Second one, format. There are no great options, any visual. So it is showing all the months data. But I want only two months. How do you filter? Now I'm explaining this filter concept. I don't require these many. July and August only required. Go to filter. Here months available. Click on it. What are the months required? You simply select it. July, August. These two months only select. Filter pane, July and August. But this I want to show like buttons. So go to format area. In case you want to change the format, slicer setting, not list, tile, tile for button. July and August. Next, I want to show total business value. Guys, single value you want to show, take a card visible. Card visible. This level. Ask your data. Data level, amount you take. Automatically, sum it will take. No need to write any logic. I want the average. Take a card visible. Drag and drop sum. It will take uh, drag and drop amount. It will take sum. But I want average. Click on this drop down and select here average. This drop. So these are all the calculations without writing any formula. We can do it. That is the beauty of Power BI. No need to write any logic. Just select average. Average ready. Take a card visible. And I want maximum amount. Amount you take. Click on this max. Take a card visible. Amount you take, click on it, minimum, minimum. So take one by one and whatever you want to perform, perform. Four card visuals available for values display. Now, I want to change the format of it. Click on this. Here, format your visual. Call out value, category label available. This is call out value and this is category label. Format level, just go to call out value, bold. I'll take 30 size, color, blue color. Unit, how do you want to show? Right now, thousands available. If you want million or billion or trillion, whatever you require, you can take it. I'll go for none. None means nothing. No format. None. Now come to category label, bold, and mention here 18. Click on it. And I will make this smaller. If you want border for this, always general. General level, general properties available. Go to FX, visual border on. General level, general property, this is it. The same format, I want to copy all the areas. Click on format painter. This is a format painter. Click. Click on format painter. Click. Click on format painter. Click. This is how it will work.
thirty days. If you click nineteen, nineteen total, nineteen average, nineteen max, nineteen minimum. Twenty, twenty total, twenty average, twenty max, twenty minimum. If you click Zola, Zola values. Is it okay? This is how it changes. In case you feel confused, you can place it. You want to minimize it, minimize it. You want to place it here, place it here. I will clear off, clearing the slicer, clear the slicer. See how good and how easier it is. No coding, nothing. And I want to compare reasons for which reason more money, which reason less money. Just go to comparison chart, bar chart. This is for comparisons. Click on this. I will place here. Why access level mention reason? Because reasons I want to compare. X access level I want to mention amount. Amount is Y X. Now you explore bigger. Focus mode will give you a bigger view. So this is focus view will give you a bigger view. Food, travel, internet, more money spent. Entertainment, books, petrol, less money spent. Top spendings, bottom spendings. Top spending, bottom spending. Food, travel, internet, petrol, books, and then. Go to this, general, FX, visual board. Top spending board. Now I want Area, area wise, how much money spent? I spent percentage money I spent. So go to this pie chart. This is for percentages. Remember percentages. This is for comparison. This is for percentage. I'll take area in the first section. Amount in the value section. Sir, how do we take? I'll tell you later. Don't worry. Now click on it. Amir paid area thirty percent money I spent. Jagadamba area, 18% money is spent. Motinagar area, 10% money is spent. This is how much money is spent. Go to Zendal, FX. So bar chart for comparisons, pie chart for composition. Now I want to show what are the locations I travel. Click on map visible. Save. Take location in the location area. I took map as well. Location, location. These are the locations I travel. You can explore bigger. Warangal I travel. Vishak Patnam, etc. travel. But I want to control the money spending. Come down. Size available. These are called bubbles. Bubble size available. And mention here amount. So bigger bubble, more value. Small bubble, less value. Bigger, more value, small bubble, less value. I will go to general, general, FX, visual border. Now, if you cancel 20, it will show you 20 spendings, 20 locations, 20 values, 20 comparison. 20 August, 20 August, what are the locations I traveled and money spent? 19 August, also similar. So this is how we will generate a wonderful report, better insights report. And this is saved like this, file menu, save. I will save in my batches folder, right click, new, 9 a.m., 9 a.m., March, October 24. In this folder, I'll save then I take demo report. And what is the extension? PBX. If you go to Word document, Word documents saved with dot DOCX. Excel documents saved with 
dot excel lessons and this is power bi document not report power bi document with pbx power bi document why is a document even i'll show you that where it is saved this is your folder 9 am to march when i take demo report and as a power bi document the reason is we extracted, we transform, we mod different things we are doing. So we don't call it as a report, we call it as a document. And now I want to share only this with the customer. This is a report. This I want to share with the customer. Assume he, these are the people available, users or customers. How do you share? So first we need to move this into cloud. Or we need to move into company servers. Then only the reports are accessed by the users. Till that time, not possible. If sharing also freely available, then everyone will share. So usually we'll move to cloud or a server, and then we'll share. That part we'll see the regular class. So how to create a report easily without much knowledge, I clearly explain. I'll give you the input file and download the software, install the software and practice this example and see your own. And tomorrow, we'll continue on top of it. But I'll start from basics from tomorrow. So this is a agenda, all topics. MSBA, Power BA, Azure differences, real-time projects, one by one, slowly we go. Again, desktop installation, I will tell you for one hour. Today, just 10 minutes or five minutes, but one hour I will explain this. Is that fine? Right, sir. Whatever I plan today, converting one normal data into decision-making data easily by using this, successfully. And as I said, two months is the duration. Daily theory, practical material provided, live class videos also provided. Resume preparation also I will explain you. WhatsApp group for our daily updates, daily content intimation, and notifications, job information, and many purposes. So my one hour equal to for your two to three hours practice. So the 60 hours will spend valuably for our course. So that very good knowledge you will get for your interviews and real-time working perspective. This is my objective. Detailed subject for the real-time purpose. Enter wonder subject covered and certification knowledge also covered here. Our guidance also provided. First demo completed with data to fabric understanding. Second demo on practical also I give. And tomorrow onwards, regular classes at 9 o'clock, 9 to 10 a.m. Kindly contact the description to continue from tomorrow slowly in detail from basics.